Okay, continuing on with the carburetor synchronization. I got the tank off and I got the carburetor tops off, all four. And just set these down. And uh, got my gauge all ready, got my makesh makeshift tank all ready here. And basically I got it at a level below the carburetors here to stop it from flowing. And I'll raise it up, hang it up high when I want gas to flow. That way I'm not flooding the carburetors un unintentionally. But my flows have been working pretty good lately. And just one thing I want to show you that I'm done. Over here, you see the lock tab, uh, locking nut, and um, lock washer here. I pulled the t pin the tabs back on each carburetor, loosened this. I haven't done it to this one yet. And basically, I just use a screwdriver and just bend it back doesn't have to be all the way just so you can turn just be able to turn it there you go so now I'll fire it up I'm gonna adjust this one first um, and then go ahead and adjust the other ones I'll show you what I got so far Just a uh, idle mixture. Excuse me. Give it a little bit here, otherwise it won't idle. I already warmed up the bike. Uh, it's about 1500. This is okay. The instructions call for it to uh, be at a little higher RPM than normal. Let's try 1200. Okay, so you see where the gauges are. I'm going to try first get number one cylinder down. And all I want to do is get them all about here. You know what I mean? Just to average them out. Well, let's see what happens. You can see how it changes when I turn the screw in. Clockwise. Counterclockwise. Already been smoother. Yeah. And now the other one went up quite a bit. And you think, uh, Just to throttle down a little bit. Good. Not that much down. About 1500 RPM is where I want. There we go. Now the next one.
down a little bit.